Hey guys, Motocar Nut here, and today we're going to be replacing a thermostat on a. This is going to. This is a 2012 Subaru Forester, but it's going to uh, pertain to 2011 to 2016 Forester. Uh, the Impreza with the 2.0. That's 2012 to 2013, 14. Uh, the Crosstrek, the Outback, the Legacy, pretty much any engine and when you lift it up you see the converter is all bunched up in the in the uh in this in the front not the one where it's the exhaust just hooks up on both sides and you have a nice clear access to the um uh uh thermostat housing not on this car you have to either drop the exhaust or take it away take it off i'm going to take it off because i'm taking this engine out but i'm going to show you how to how to uh, replace the uh, thermostat on this particular model. First thing we're going to do is uh, lift the car up. You can take off the um, radiator cap so you're going to drain the flu the, the coolant. And I'm going to lift the car up. We'll take it from there. Okay, we're underneath the car. And you see what I'm talking about? The older models, here's the exhaust ports over here. The older models just had one here and one here. And Right over here is the thermostat housing, and it was clear, clear view to get to it, no problem. Now you have to lower the uh, exhaust manifold converter assembly over here. What you can do is over here, you have three, 13 millimeter, one, two, and one in the back, that side, and on that side. And what you can do is just lower it enough that you can get to the housing. But what I'm gonna do, like I told you before, I'm, I'm doing the engine on this car, so I'm just gonna take it off. But you don't have to take it all the way off unless you want to. All right, so what I'm gonna do is release those three, those three, and these three, and just lower it a little bit. Okay. The exhaust manifold bolts are, and bolts and nuts, they are 14 millimeter, not 13. And what I did right now, I loosened everything. And you see right here, if you pull it down, okay, you can get to it. If you don't want to take it off, see it's right there. I believe that looks like a, let me see, a 10 millimeter. I'll let you know. And you can just take it out like that. But I'm going to take this off to make it easier to film it. But you don't have to take this off all the way if you don't. You just loosen from there and there. And you can even leave this one, these bolts alone. Because it will just pull down, just, let, just pull down and give you enough room. All right, I'm just going to remove it right now. And if you do want to remove the exhaust because maybe you want to, you have an exhaust leak or something like that, you have to replay, um, disconnect the O2 sensors. All right. And they go right up there before you lower it, because you rip them out, okay? So basically, this is I'm just gonna take this out of the way, and then we'll continue. Once that's out of the way, it's right there, but before that, we gotta drain the coolant. It's a, uh, Philip said right there, you drain it into some kind of a uh, container. Don't let it, uh, and there's the um, thermostat right there. All right, we're gonna drain that, like I said, drain it into some container. Don't let it go on the ground. Don't let no animals lick that because they'll they'll lick that because it's sweet and die. Those uh, bolts are 10 millimeter. Them two right there. And we're just gonna pry it and have a catch uh, catch uh, pan for any more coolant that might come out. Okay, so when you pull it down, right, you gotta see there's a little weep hole here, right here. Just make sure when you put the new thermostat in, it goes in basically that direction. Okay, that's important. You want it to stay where the manufacturer wants it, right there. A lot of people overlook that step. It's important. Okay, you drain a little bit more out. And there's going to be a seal there you have to break. And more coolant's going to come out. I want to do it with one hand. Oh, okay, we're flying. But anyway, well, not that much came out. Okay, so what you want to do, 
because that thermostat has a seal. You want to clean this mating area right here all the way around, make sure it's not corroded, maybe get a screwdriver and just like scrape over here, nice and clean. Okay, so it makes a good seal and it won't leak. Now let me go get that uh, thermostat when we're flying. So, and then you uh, just replace it. This thermostat's good, I just took it out for the video. And make sure when you put the gasket on, this little rubber gasket, it doesn't go on the top or on the bottom, it goes in between, it has a seam. You see this? The seam goes in it. It's like a groove inside, so you have a seal on both sides. Obviously, you're going to replace this nice, nice, uh, clean one. And the same thing with the, uh, the mating surface over here. Over here. Get a razor blade and clean it all up. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Gives you a nice tight seal. All right, and then you see where the weep, the little bleeder is right there. It went there like this. You put it back in the same way. You put your bolts on there. You tighten them down, 89 inch pounds. All right, and you're good to go. If you took the exhaust down, put it back, reverse the procedure, and um, make sure you plug in your O2 sensors, and you're good to go. All right, I'm stopping the video here now because I'm taking the engine out, like I said in the other video. And, um, and that's how you replace the uh, thermostat. All right. Motor car nut, please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions, leave them below pertaining to the video. Uh, if you learned something today, I would appreciate a super thanks for supporting the channel to keep me going. And um, I appreciate all the comments. you have any questions, like I said, I, answer, I try to answer all my questions to get you guys back on the road. I appreciate everything, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.